My name is Steven Strum. I'm a physician, and I want to share with you today a wonderful application called COSA. COSA provides a 30-day free trial from their website, www.cosa.com slash downloads. So if you're a PC or a Mac user, you can go ahead and download the application and also a manual that documents uh, the specific details. So I've already downloaded from my Mac uh, the current version of COSA. And so I'm going to open up COSA. I'll close this down and open up COSA. And show you how to use this relatively simple tool. So right now you have essentially a PubMed search window. And one of the recent uh, topics that I've been reviewing relates to this controversy about the blood test called PSA and the screening for prostate cancer using PSA. So I'm going to type in PSA screening and you can see that in the drop-down menu, there already are some preloaded search uh, items. One is PSA screening prostate cancer. I could just type it myself or I can just click on that. Now, when I do that, it automatically starts searching. And perhaps I didn't want to do this search in light of the fact that there are 10,713 articles found. So what I can do is go to my column over here, These, this is the filter column, and I could say, all right, I want to look at publications in the last five years, so I click on that. I'll go down to English only, and you can see that's narrowed my search number down to 3053. I want to put down that I want to make sure that there is an abstract available, in case I want to read it and screen it, down to 2,900. And let's suppose for the purposes of this discussion that I want to only include human, humans as a subject matter, and that I want to look at randomized control trials. And for this purposes of this uh, educational forum, let's just leave it at that. I'm down to 144 possible citations of value to me. Now, what is done next with Quosa is that the user looks at the different abstracts, and I'm going to make this page larger, looks at the different abstracts, and if the title looks to be of interest, you can simply check it off by putting your cursor there and clicking on it. And so I see some other articles that are not really pertinent. This one is not pertinent to my screening. This one is. And I scroll down and I, I look. That one isn't. That one may be. I also note that this is free PubMed Central article come back to that. This one is pertinent. This one isn't, and so forth. And so I'm just going to complete this page and go down and look. And I see uh, this one being pertinent. This one is also, there are 20 citations per page. That one is, this one may be, and the rest are not. Now, if I wasn't sure and I said maybe, I could just simply click on this title and it will show me the abstract. I can read it and see if it is pertinent. 
and it is pertinent. So I'm going to go back with the back button up here to where I was. I'm going to point out to you that in light of the fact that there were 144 possible abstracts, that I could go and do the same thing I've done with this page. I could do the same thing by going to the next page, by going to Next over here and clicking on this and getting the next 21 to 40 abstracts doing the same process. And I'll just show you that I'm going to click on that one and just end my, my review right now. Although if I were doing this seriously, I'd go through all 144 possible citations. I then I'm going to go and ask Quosa to retrieve these articles by simply going up to this icon and clicking on the Retrieve button. And note that in this menu bar up here, I have PDF articles selected. My other choices would be PubMed Abstracts, HTML, but I want PDF. And I have 100 results to be processed. I can change it if I want to, but I'm leaving it at 100. And I just simply click the Retrieve button. And then I wait, and this new window pops open, and this is the PubMed uh, processing the different papers as they come out. And this, depending on the number that you've selected, may take anywhere from seconds to many minutes. I think the longest this has ever taken me has been perhaps 10 minutes. You can also see while this is working on the left-hand side, it says My Searches, and today's search was PSA Screening. And I can make that window bigger if I wanted. I can make it wider if I wanted. PSA Screening Prostate Cancer. I can even go back to yesterday's search or the day before or prior dates and look at all the different searches that I've done. Now the, the bar up here that just disappeared uh, was the uh, the bar that shows you the status of the, of the uh, retrieval process. When it disappears, obviously the, the uh, retrieving has been done. <clears throat> and these are the articles that I've selected off. And you can see that uh, these authors can be uh, put in alphabetical order by clicking on this author's uh, column. Or I could click on title or source or published. So if I wanted to look and see the, these were published in 2011 to 2012, or I can start with the most recent ones. Usually what I do is I click on type, and it puts all the free full text, free full text articles with the Acrobat icons shown over here. So that means that these four articles, I can get the free text of those as PDFs. And what I do is I just simply highlight that first article, hold on a Mac my shift key down to highlight the rest, and then I right click and say save selected articles to a Mac folder. Now for PC users, you would I believe use the control key and gosh, I've forgotten all my PC stuff now that I've switched to a Mac, but most of you would know how to select a group of, of items uh, and then you would right click and find save selected articles to a PC folder. So I click on this and it shows my last destination folder, but I'm going to browse and it's going to open up on the Mac uh, my finder window and I'm going to go to my shortcut for uh, PSA screening. I have two of them, one that is Dropbox related and one that's not I'm going to go to the one that's not Dropbox related, PSA screening. And I've done this before, so I'm going to go into what I call PSA articles to process and double click on that. These are papers from a previous, uh, from a previous search. And I haven't yet processed these in terms of reading them and changing their file names. But just to show you how this works, I'm going to select open. So now those four papers will end up going to this destination. And all I have to do is click on OK. Now realize that you can also name these files with different conventions. I've named them with first author, publication year, but you have other options uh, in here. 
uh, I thought you did, but I don't see any now. Uh, or you create a new new uh, a new uh, option by moving these things over. So if I went to the journal abbreviation, I can include that in my file name. I don't, so I'm going to remove it. I'll click OK. And now when I click OK, these articles will go directly to that Mac folder, which is here. All my stuff, work, work in progress, blah, 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 right down to PSAs to process. And it shows even the first file that's going to go up there. So remember, Rosario, Ischia, Andreol, and Kilpelian. Kilpelian. And I'm going to just click OK. And then I'm going to open up my Finder window. And I'm just going to show you, and I bring my Finder window over there. If I go back to my shortcut to PSA screening, PSA is to process. You see Andreol. Let me move this over. You see Andreol. You see down here Rosario as a PDF. And if I do a preview on this, you can see that this is the actual paper. And while I'm in preview, I can even go over here and use my file naming convention and create my own file name, prostate biopsy uh, via PSA screening. That's my abbreviation. And that's Protec T study. And so I've renamed this. I'm going to close this down. I now have those four PDFs uh, here that I can open up and read, which I read in Acrobat Professional. And here's the full paper, all 12 pages of it. I don't have to pay for this. It's a free full text. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to minimize my finder. I'm going to go back to Quosa. And that's basically it for just using Quosa alone. There are other options I can do with these. I could save the rest of these articles, which will be as HTML uh, articles. I've done that in the past. And so I probably will do the same thing. I'll just highlight those and I'll save them. I'll save them to the Mac folder. I've already figured out where I want them to go. I'm just OK them. And you'll see that uh, Cato was one of, the, one of the authors. And down here in, uh, in my Finder window, I'll find C-A-T-T-O, Cato. You see it's an HTML. It's not a full text PDF. And if I double click on that, it will open up the PubMed, web PubMed website and show me the abstract of this article. I could process that whatever way I want. I could even take this article, highlight this, and send it off and request the full PDF if I think it's really important. For now, I will just end this tutorial on the use of COSA. And when I want to do an, another search, I just click on New Search and it opens up the search box and I can put anything in here and this previous search will then be relegated to this column over here and I can go back to this again if I want to. That is my little mini tutorial on Quosa, a wonderful application for processing uh, articles from PubMed and other uh, search engines.